Hey guys, welcome to Goku Light Manga Review. And uh, today, basically, I'm just going to get caught up on the last couple chapters that I pretty much have fell behind on. Um, essentially, the last one I did, I believe, was 782. And uh, so I need to do 783 through 786. And uh, basically, the reason that I waited to do them was because they were what I would call build up chapters. Uh, if you've ever watched, like, I don't know, Dragon Ball Z or any of those uh, animes or sh what I would call shonen types, uh, basically you have in every every two or three episodes or every three or four mangas where they're just powering up and a lot of dialogue and nothing really progresses, to be honest. And uh, that's what I kind of felt like these chapters were. On top of that, I've been working on getting live reactions and things like that I could do together. I'm looking to upload a lot of videos today, so that's something to look forward to. But, uh, yeah, jumping right into it. So, seven, 783 to 786. Basically, you have uh, Luffy turning into Pound Man. Uh, he powers up. He's basically, uh, you know, in my opinion, lit up to the hype. I was, uh, I was satisfied with Luffy's transformation. Um, honestly, through One Piece, I've never expected, like, I would say the most... Um, most absurd power-ups, but more of, like, the most unique. Like, I'm not expecting it to be like Dragon Ball Z, where they keep going level up, like, up and up and up to their fucking, you know, power level thing. I, I enjoy kind of how One Piece is more diverse in the aspect of, like, every time Luffy powers up, he's just different. You know, uh, using ways to implement his hockey. Uh, in my opinion, since the beginning of the series, he pretty much has been making up his own techniques. It has not been really uh, what I would call orthodox, or even what I would, you know, what I'm used to with all the different animes or mangas. I've seen there's usually a master or somebody teaching somebody or some kind of technique put, handed down, but Luffy's just pretty much uh, winging it. <laughs> so, uh, jumping into it, you have Luffy pretty much, in my opinion, kicking uh, Doflamingo's ass. Uh, you know, 783 is pretty much the, the, the power up chapter, I believe, on like. Uh, page 7 or something like that is when it really kicks off with the powering up. Um, you know, clashes back and forth, them telling each other they're in the way. Uh, Luffy gets Law out of the fight, gives him to Candivish, I believe his name is, or something like that. Uh, gets him out of, out of the scenario, basically out of the fray. Goes back to fight Doflamingo, basically tells him he's had enough of his shit. Uh, he transforms into Gear 4. Basically, uh, you know, and like I said, something that I was, I was satisfied with, he becomes Pound Man. Uh, he uses the hockey to pretty much resemble, in my opinion, if you uh, if you remember the arc with all the zombies and more island and all that, uh, the other warlord previously, whatnot. You know, I'm talking about another story arc. Well, you should obviously if you're reading this or if you're watching this and you're reading these chapters. Uh, so when he's dealing with more or whatever, he turns into that like big old blue looking creature with the sword. Uh, this is what I would call resemblance to that, uh, and pretty much you know using hockey. And uh, he at, at the very end of I want to say let me check before I even before I even comment um, on on the end of I'm checking out the chapters one I'm pulling it up right here so I can be correct on the end of 785 we uh, or sorry at the end of 784 and 785 opening up we see Luffy pretty much. Uh, just giving Doflamingo uh, one of someone similar to like his gum gum pistol, but it's from a distance with hockey implemented into it. Um, you know that so that that itself was was pretty dope. Uh, you see Doflamingo pretty much thrashed right there, flying away. Um, at the very end of 785, it ends with him doing a technique called Leo Bazooka, uh, pretty much saying Doflamingo flying to the end of the city. Um, he's on the wall. It, uh, for a moment, it looks like he's near death, but then as we can see, Doflamingo uses his uh, techniques or his string, his devil fruits, kind of heal his uh, insides and, and pull himself together. Uh, he continues to fight. Uh, we see Luffy starting to lose his edge. He obviously doesn't have a good understanding of how to use all of his power. Doflamingo comments on something called the Awakening. Uh, something, if you remember, Crocodile commented back on in a uh, previous story arc in Alabasta. Uh, basically, there's devil fruit users that have another level of their power. It's a, it's another like understanding or technique where they can use the environments around them. Probably more to it than that that I even understand. But anyways, uh, Luffy ends up running out of power. Uh, out of nowhere, we have Burgess jumping into the fray. Uh, luckily, Sabo jumps up in the way. Sabo saves uh, Luffy, and uh, you know I can see that happening. 
so that, that itself was kind of predictable as far as Sabo, but yeah, um, I think this is pretty good, these have been pretty good chapters. Uh, overall, the thing that's uh, most interesting I would say is uh, the awakening, seeing what that's going to lead to. Uh, I, I would think that these different gear transformations can only go so far before he needs to really rely more on his devil fruit. It seems he's more uh, hockey reliant at the moment, which is cool because, uh, as we know, most Logia users are countered by hockey, but even then there's a limit to that. So I would say that uh, his devil fruit ability is going to be really important going into the future. Um, I think it's great that Sabo's back in the fight. I'm really interested to see how strong Sabo is. Uh, compared to the Admiral uh, that he was fighting, he seemed a bit even, maybe a little under, took a few bruises, but he doesn't have a full usage of his uh, of his fruit yet that he got, obviously got uh, inherited from Ace, so that'll be interesting to see when Sabo starts using some fire techniques. Um, and yeah, you know, overall I think it was a great string of chapters. I'm interested to see where Sabo goes and where this story arc kind of progresses. Um, I'm waiting for next week's chapter, that's why I did this review uh, today. So that way when the next one comes out I can release a video on time. And I'm going to do my best to start releasing these uh, One Piece chapter reviews on time as they come out. Um, I'll also be doing Bleach and a uh, live reaction for Bleach since I haven't read it yet. Be sure to check that out. Um, I would give the rating of the last few chapters. Uh, you know, I would say the first couple ones were like 3 out of 5s, but uh, 785 is definitely, uh, and 786 are definitely 4 out of 5s. I enjoyed the chapters, uh, and yeah, so if you liked this video, be sure to leave a comment below, and uh, thank you for watching.